worship God in spirit and truth. Worship is the reverence paid to God. As believers in Lord Jesus Christ, we worship the Father through His Son, Lord Jesus Christ, according to the New Testament pattern, where Jesus takes the prominence in our worship. Jesus said in John chapter 10, verse 17, Therefore doth my Father love me, because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. In John chapter 10, verse 30, He said, I and my Father are one. Jesus said in John chapter 4, verse 23, But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship Him. It is obvious here that the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth, and as the Father in heaven and Jesus are one, the worship that we render to Jesus is acceptable to the Father in heaven. Here it becomes necessary for us to know what exactly worship is. Worship according to New Testament pattern is not fleshly nor is it physical. God is spirit therefore our worship should be in spirit and in truth and not physical nor should be fleshly. We see in Old Testament, the pattern of worship had in it a physical structure called a tabernacle, priests with special clothing, lampstands, burning of incense, usage of musical instruments, and sacrifice of animals. These all give us physical and fleshly senses. New Testament pattern of worship is based on Hebrews chapter 9 verses 11 to 12 where Jesus is seen as the high priest and perfect tabernacle not made with the hands of men or with the blood of goats or calves but with his own blood which he shed for us at the cross of Calvary and obtained eternal redemption for us. We are no more strangers and foreigners but fellow citizens with the saints. Jesus Christ is the cornerstone and in Him we are built together for a habitation of God through the Spirit. Reference Ephesians chapter 2 verses 19 to 22. New Testament pattern of worship is centered on Jesus Christ and spiritual aspects of life. The believers in Christ are one household of God and are built on the foundation laid by the apostles and prophets. Lord Jesus Christ himself is the cornerstone of such building. All those saved in the precious blood of Jesus are fitly framed together and grow in the grace of God and are parts of that holy temple of the Lord. We are built together for habitation of God through the Spirit. Every born again child of God may worship God in spirit and in truth. Let us bow down to Him and acknowledge Him as our Lord and Savior. Let us sing songs and hymns of worship. Such worship rendered by the child of God is acceptable unto Him. The observance of Lord's Supper by breaking bread and drinking from the cup is a great way of worshipping Lord Jesus Christ. We remember the death of Jesus Christ, His burial and resurrection and His ascension. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verses 24 and 25 read, And when He had given thanks, He broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood, this do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. This devotional is written and brought to you by Leslie John.